It's a pleasure to be with all of you. Uh, it's really refreshing in the world today to uh, focus on something as simple as love, goodness, and values. So it's a real privilege uh, to be with you today, but it's even more of a privilege to honor Sister Judith. I've known Sister Judith for over 20 years, um, and the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Sister Judith is her passion for the vulnerable. Uh, she has devoted her whole career uh, to really reaching out to those that need it the most, that oftentimes others aren't willing to reach out and help. Uh, one of the phrases used in, in the talk today was unconditional love. Uh, and, and that's when you have to make sacrifice in order to make a difference. And Sister Judith has made many sacrifices and always devoted herself. You can see her impact on legislation from an advocacy point of view. You can see her impact on programs for the homeless, on programs for the mentally ill, on social service agencies, long-term care. These are all things that she's devoted her career to and made a difference. She's a, a leader of uh, all health care across the country. She's uh, a member of the Catholic Health Association Board, where she's had a big influence on national policy. She's had a big influence on policy for health care in the state of Ohio. And so I can't think of anyone that better deserves this recognition than Sister Judith Ann. Please join me in uh, welcoming her. Tremendous appreciation to Mike Conley for his kind words. As Mike indicated, we should be telling how long we've known each other because it reflects how long we've been around. But uh, Mike and I have really been involved in Catholic health care in the state of Ohio for many, many years, and I'm very proud to call him my colleague. So thank you so much, Mike. I also want to uh, reflect on Bishop Breeze, who I was with yesterday, and never ever said one word about this presentation. So uh, I also want to honor my co-awardees. Thank you, Governor Kasich, so very much, of having a mantra of doing the right thing, for stepping away from political, purely political decisions, to assure that the priorities of all of your actions especially regarding education and health care, are towards the people served. And you respect them for their intrinsic, intrinsic value, and that is so very, very important. So thank you, Governor Casey. And congratulations. <laughs> to our friends, uh, Jane and Lee Seidman, we honor your giving and compassionate hearts. So many, many people in Northeast Ohio have been impacted by your generosity, and we are so very, very grateful. Being in healthcare, I can say that you have truly, without being clinicians, you have truly had an impact on the quality of healthcare in this community. So I honor you for this recognition. Especially, I'm also grateful to receive this recognition, named for a special friend and mentor in my life, Sam Miller. Sam has guided me with advice and has been a friend in many, many ways. We all know that he does not hesitate to voice his opinion and to solicit yours. His commitment to this community is truly heartfelt. Sam Miller is a model of goodness and what this recognition is truly all about. I stand here today, but there are numerous people who are responsible and share in this recognition. For all of my life, I have been given the opportunity to serve people and communities as both a pharmacist and then many, many years as administrator in healthcare. I accept this recognition on behalf of the religious congregation, the Sisters of Charity of St. Augustine, and all those who have been who minister in our name. Being called by God to serve others in community is what our life choice is all about. We have never done it alone. Our first sisters came to Cleveland 
England at the invitation of the first bishop of the Diocese of Cleveland, Amadeus Rare. He invited the Augustinian sisters to come from his native France and start a health care ministry. Our first sisters began by going home to home to provide health care in people's homes in this community. Soon our first hospital was built in 1852, followed by orphanages, schools, St. Vincent Charity Medical Center in 1865, and the rest is history. Today I'm especially proud of the cutting edge pioneering work done by all entities within our system over these years. If we had another 10 minutes, I would tell you of a motto from cradle to college called Cleveland Central Promise excuse me, Neighborhood. It's an initiative of our Sister Security Foundation of Cleveland, which is truly about creating systemic change in a critical neighborhood of our city. Today, our health system provides compassionate quality care to this community in the midst of significant change in health care and the economy. Significant change in health care delivery and our economy. In addition to Cleveland, we also serve in Canton and also South Carolina. Five hospitals, physician practices, three grant-making foundations, community outreach ministries, elder care services, all make up the fabric of who we are as a value-driven organization. At times, we are countercultural in assuring that we are responding to the compelling business and economic imperatives, but at the same time, at the same time, we focus on our call to serve to serve people and our community, driven by the core values that are who we are. Healthcare is not merely a commodity to be bought and sold. It is a mission to respect and care for the inherent dignity of the human person, providing the opportunity for many to live and have quality of life. The opportunity because of their health and their quality of life, to be able to work and contribute to our community. Several months ago, I met Larry and Stuart and began to be familiar with Project Love. I was introduced to the great work that is being done at Collinwood High School, where values and respect for the human person are giving students a new chance of life affirming their leadership with opportunity to make a difference and providing support along their life's path gives hope and gives direction. Our community is and will continue to be blessed by these student leadership as they move into adulthood. So thank all of you for the support of our community for Project Love for your support of the values of Project Love and the mission, and for being present here today. So thank you for this honor, thank you for your support, and thank you, and God bless you.